Good morning, Chatty Betty Gang Squad. This is your girl, Chat with K, and I'm back with another vlog. A day in the life of a dog mom. As you can see, King is not in his cage. He must be already out for his walk. He is going to go and get his teeth clean. He's going to get put to sleep. Do y'all see this? This is the apartment complex that we live in. And I asked them, could I do some own personal flowering right there, even though I'm allergic to them? I was going to have my husband put them down. Because that is ridiculous. Y'all see this stuff? And I'd be glad when we get out of here next year. Okay? Well, look who's coming. Here, my fat boy. You ready to go get your teeth done so you can get your pearly whites? Hi, right, baby. You ready to go? You ready? You drooling. Don't, don't shake that off of me. Don't. Shake that out. You got drool all over your mouth. Mm -mm. That's one thing about Rockwellers. They do do that. But he has a mama who fixed to go wipe his mouth. And yes, he does. Because he ain't getting in my car like that. He can, he can have a little bit of water. Uh -uh. Don't, don't jump on me. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go get your towel. Hey, do you know where my papers for my order, for my my stuff at my procedures and stuff, those white pages? It's right there. Okay, come on, King. Let me wipe my. All right, guys. I y'all know the routine. I gotta get this boy in the car. So it's a lot. He got a lot of time. It's a, it's always an attack. Come here, baby. He said, uh-uh, y'all up to something. <laughs> it's too early. Hey, you ready to go get your teeth brushed? Huh? You ready to go get your teeth done? Let mommy wipe your face. Get your stuff. Yeah, I'll get off in a second. Hi, big boy. Hi. Okay, I'm going to get him in the car, get his vest on, get him all set up. And then I will be back with you guys once we get on the road. You guys know how I do. I, I vlog a little bit here and there so the video won't be too long. And then, you know, we'll see what she's going to got to say. I'm going to go get his ear stuff because she's going to put that in there too. I'm not playing with her today. Wash your face, baby. We got to get ready to go. Thank you. Good boy. This your child. Yeah. Yay. Hi. Now you can say hi. You gonna say hi to the people? Hmm? You gonna say hi to the people? So I gotta go get my teeth done. I'm gonna get my pearly whites today. Yeah, let's go get your teeth brushed. Okay? I hate they gotta put them to sleep to do that, but I get it. The king ain't is not gonna let you get in his mouth unless you giving him some food. What's up? But my mama will. So I won't bite my mama, see? So I won't bite my mama. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a minute as soon as we get him all set up, put on all his stuff, and get him ready to go. I see him with his service dog vest on. He is trying to get in the car so fast. Come on, you're going to get to go. He wants to go so bad. Okay? Put your stuff out. So I got him the one that says, do not pet on this side. Be still. And then service dog on that side. And do not pet on that side. Okay? We get ready to go. I just want them to let you see your, with your vest on. We get ready to go. And his little satchel. Okay? Okay? So you're going to get ready to go. So we're going to put him in the car here in a second. He's excited until he see where we're going. See? Wait, King. Are you going to get to go? You let Daddy get the car ready. You're going to get to go. Calm down. I don't want nobody to pet him. See, he's like, do not pet, and he's gonna put his long harness on. So, this is, I know this is the first time you guys see him with all his little stuff on. So, his leash has says the same thing service dog. See? Okay, so we get ready to take him to the vet, and we'll see you guys in a few. As soon as we, as soon as we get butthead in the car, because he's ready to go. All right, we are on the road again. Hopefully this is the last time that we gotta take King over here <clears throat> because we're not gonna keep bringing him over here every other couple of weeks 
For one, <clears throat> it stresses him out. For two, it stresses us out. For three, it stresses our coinage out. We're going to do what we got to do to make sure he's good, but we're not going to keep getting, having to do stuff that's unnecessary. That's the issue with me. So, I, he's back there doing all of his heavy breathing. Now, y'all probably can't see him, but there he is. He's sitting down, and he's... Uh, he has a, enough room to have him where he can sit down and be comfortable. I don't like really uh, having to lock him in like that, but King won't sit still. So hopefully that will change as he get older and he won't be so hyper and want to move, <clears throat> move around. So this has been a busy week. I've been on a go. This will be my third day. This is a lot for me. And I'm going to go and do some charting that I have to do. And then try to get some other stuff done. So you guys will get... I'm just going to put this video up uh, as it is. Because you know I'm not going to edit anything. So if I don't put it up today, I'll put it up you know, tomorrow or Friday or something. But because I've only put one video up this week. So, is that heat? So, I'm going to go ahead and end it from here. And then I'll see you, let you guys. Um, somebody's moving. Oh, somebody moving in. I'm moving in. One of the two. Because those are those moving vans. When we moved, when, we was in the, when I was with DJ Dad, when they moved us in, they moved us like that. In the military, they move you in those big things like that, and, and the uh, military pay for it. So that's why I said somebody moving in or moving away, one of the two. But anyway, I got off track. I'll see you guys when we get there. Bye. All right. You see where we are? Our second home, seems like. And y'all see this mad, this eardrop stuff, right? I'm going to make her put this stuff in his ears because... We're not doing this with him. We're gonna, we kind of, a few minutes early, I'm gonna let him kind of use the bathroom. Hopefully he don't make a duty because he did that the last, no, he did that in there. So he got all, he was really excited. So I wonder what they, that party city left. Somebody done got that little spot already. So we're gonna see what they gonna turn that into. Hopefully this won't be an all-day process because we're going to go back home if it is. We'll see. We don't know. So, And this is Novosville again. So we're going to get him in here and then we're going to see what time it is. Yep. Let me get his towel so I can wipe his face. I don't like his face looking like that. I'm not, I am a very good dog mom. I do not let him go in there looking crazy. Come here, wipe your face, baby. Wait, wait, wait. You got him? Sit. Wait. Wait for mommy. Wait for mommy. Okay? Wipe your face. Wipe your drools. You want me going here looking crazy? Wait, let your daddy hold on this shoe. I got him. He got, he's Hi, baby. You ready? Uh, uh, you got him? Okay. Come on, boys, down. Jump down. Come on, baby. Good boy. Don't be scared. There you go, big boy. His what? What's too blue? This thing here. All right. It's okay. He, he good. You know, they going to take it off anyway. Cause he gotta go in. The, uh, they put to the sleep. They gonna take that off of him anyway. You talking about underneath his thing? Come on, come on. You know where you at? I know you finna stall. <laughs> he is. Let him, let him use. And I'm gonna have her look at his arms. Cause I don't like that on his elbows. I don't know what that's about. No, it's getting bigger. Cause it wasn't. It's like that. I'm gonna have her like. What is that? I know, but still. You're styling, big boy. No loitering. Whew. Is it you or him? Probably, yeah. Sheesh. 
Come on, Key. You gonna use because I don't want you going go let you need to go take a tinkle because y'all don't want you doing that on the floor. And it's on both of his elbows. So I need to know what that is. She gonna we gonna figure that out. Because I don't want there to be no type of parasites or nothing on him. The easy one. Here, little cell. Did he? Did he? Well, hopefully he won't do it in here. Come on, King. Let's go. You better not pee on this floor in here. Eat. You big head cell. Come on. I should have walked in. Because I don't want him crossing over. They're going to take that off of him anyway. So, come on, King. No loitering. You're loitering, sir. Oh, that is super loose. No, so. You got to tighten that up. Because you going. It's coming up loose on his. Man, you sure that thing's supposed to go around his neck like that? Yeah. King, come on. Got Who got it too loose? That's impossible. It can't go any tighter. I'll fix it. Because your daddy pulling you by your neck and head and everything. Get, yeah. Let me walk him. Because yeah. you, you. you got the camera in your hand. Yeah, but. Hey, let's go. Okay, come on. Let's go. He ain't going in there. Let me check him in, guys, and I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, we on our way back home. I got him uh, checked in. Now they come out there and got him. King already was like, uh-uh, I'm not feeling this. So he kind of gave her a little grumble when she came out there to get him. And he, when she was trying to pull him in the back, he going to sit down like, uh-uh, you're going to have to pull me. So his daddy had to trick him <laughs> and walk away, and then he fought, start following his dad so that was and that was a way to get him back in there i did ask her about um a pill form for for the solution in his ears of course she gonna say no there isn't and then she said those little things i was concerned about on his elbows that look funky to me she said that that's normal for large breed dogs is really nothing i can do about it i can put the Tell me, you can put Vaseline on it, but it's not gonna make the hair grow back. That's that's completely normal in large breed dogs. I'm like, okay, just let me know. And then she said that aren't we cleaning his ears today? And I was like, no, he's supposed to get his teeth done. And she's like, because the one was asking her about the bill, and she said that if she said, well, I thought he was getting his ears done today. I said, mm -mm. we already did that. And I was like, and you got all this solution right here that you can squish, squish down in his ear while you got him sleep, okay? And then she's like, um, okay, well, if we're doing his teeth, then that take, takes care of the sedation, which is the biggest part of the bill. So I was like, okay. I was like, I told the one, I said, they always trying to get money out of people. I'm, I'm on my game today. That's not yeah, fixing that. Uh, yeah, and I was like, no, we've already went in his ears and cleaned his ears with sedation. We've already done that. We're supposed to be getting his teeth done today. And I said, I want his nails clipped. I want you to put some of this meds in his ears, and then you are supposed to clean his teeth. So she said, well, and then I said, so what's the bills looking like right now? She said, well, it's probably right now, if we're doing his teeth, that takes care of sedation. So that's right now you're looking at $40. So we just like, okay. So she said that he has to stay there until 4 o'clock. But they said that the last time, and they called us and told us he was ready. He probably is. Because he wasn't feeling the other day. He was like, mm-mm. <laughs> he was like, mm. He was not feeling her today. He's like, mm-mm. I know who I am, and I'm not with the tomfoolery. Not today. <laughs> so he's over there. And right now, mm-mm. She better not come out there. I know I'm, I'm going to have my phone on. I'm not going to forget this time because she already did say. And I said, well, if you want to. I said, I would love to see how you put his 
stuff in his ears by putting him in a headlock. She said, well, I won't be able to do that today because he's going to be sedated. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. But I know I'm not stupid. I said, because I would love to see how you do that. And so we will see. So that's the update so far for him. We will come back and pick him up when it's time. And you have to watch them because they love to tax you. I'm starting to see that. And that's not going to happen today because my radar is on 10 with her. So I'm going to see if his nails going to be short. I'm going to see how his teeth going to look. And she said that, of course, you already know that they're going to find something wrong. You already know that. So we will deal with that when we uh, get back. So you guys enjoy the rest of your morning for right now. And I'll see you guys when we go pick him up. Um when he was under, I got a really good look at his ears today, and they look awesome all the way down in. A lot of the debris that was in the outer ear was just like the medication debris. So we, we wiped and cleaned that out, um, but his infection is totally gone. That is uh, fabulous. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so the spot on the left side of his face, he must have had them on both sides of his face, and I just didn't realize before. The right one is healed completely. The left one is deep enough that we do need to put him on some oral antibiotics today. Okay, okay. that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. And Natalie took a couple pictures of things because I know he won't let her point it out to you at, at pickup. Um, but on his feet, he has a couple spots that are concerning as well. Um, has he been licking and chewing at his feet recently too? Not in, I don't, I never noticed it, no. Okay, okay. Well, we can keep watching that for now. The antibiotics should take care of that. If you do notice him licking and itching at his feet, I'm going to put some medication in the computer that I recommend trying. It's for dogs with allergies. Um, his seems very mild right now, but if, if they pick up here in the summer, you can definitely come pick up that medication. Okay, okay. fabulous. Can you tell me then, what... Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I will say one more thing. Um, his eyes. I, I, we've had so much to, to work with him each time that I haven't really focused on his eyes that much each time. Um, that very first visit, we did some, some ointment. Did he ever let you get that in, or did he never let you get that in? He really never really let me get that okay. in. I tried. He, he okay. kind of snapped at me. So Okay, gotcha. Okay. So with his eyes, what I was able to see today is that he has that cherry eye, that little um, prolapse on that left side, which we all knew. Um, the other part of it is that his eyes actually seem like they're rolling in. Um, the eyelids. Has anyone ever talked to you about that before? No. Okay. No one's probably got it close enough to see it that well with him, him being naughty. Okay. Um, but what, what we saw today is that I have to almost lift his eyelids and kind of pull them out of his eye to look at them. And both the cherry eye and that, that's called entropion, um, both of those things require surgery to fix. And it's something I would send him to the ophthalmologist to have done. Okay. Okay. Um, the cherry eye typically is just a cosmetic type of issue. Like if that was all that was going on, I would say we can leave it alone as long as it's not bothering him. Mm -hmm. But the other one where his eyelids roll in, that can actually create uh, scratches or ulcers on the eye and infections. Oh, um, wow. So that, and the left one in particular is a little irritated. But um, so, so those things can potentially worsen in the future and, and be a, a cause of losing our eyesight or, or having having issues with our eyes. So I definitely do not in. want that. I was going to ask yeah. you because it's always Natalie that yeah. always comes out and talk to us. And uh -huh. I was very concerned about that because I don't not like the the gunky looking gunky stuff that's in yeah. his eyes because I was going to talk to you yeah. about that. Yep. So I'm glad you yeah. are addressing it now because it yeah. was I was like this it's his eyes shouldn't do that right and I, I think it's his confirmation I think it's how he was born and it's just been slowly worse and worse and worse and over time Ooh, um, baby, so I think baby. That, that that's something we'll I'll, I'll put in his goodie bag the ophthalmology information so you guys can get a, give them a call and get get a consultation okay um, with them and it's it's probably good to tell them when you schedule it that he needs to be sedated to be looked at. I'll have it in my records, but they'll probably schedule him a little differently than a normal consultation, knowing that, that they're not going to be able to look without sedating him. No, you're not. Because okay. King is, he's not, <laughs> he didn't, he wasn't too fond of Natalie this morning. Because I was like, okay, he remember yeah. who she is. He remembers the place. He was like, not this place yeah. again. I don't like stressing yeah. him out like that, but I do know yeah. that it's a concern. It's so necessary. I'm yeah. glad I spoke it's with nice. you because I was very concerned about the way yeah. his eyes look. Because I was like, that does not yeah. look normal to me. But, okay. Since, since we're talking about everything, I got one more thing for you, okay? Okay. Um, his weight. 
So he's he's actually gained even more weight, and he's up to 138 now. Okay. I think it's um, the. I, don't you think it could be the prednisone because he's not. No, that he was on yeah. before. He wasn't right. eating like that. He don't eat like that. But you right. his mama's big and he and should daddy's be. big. Oh, he he's off up. of the prednisone now, right? Yeah. You're right. Yeah, he's off of the prednisone. Okay. But it seemed like when he yeah. was on his prednisone, he was on his prednisone, that's when his weight started to go up. However, his yeah. mom is 175 pounds. His dad is 185. Yeah. So he's, gotcha. we're thinking that he's going to be big like his parents because they were... They were huge. And he shouldn't gain any more. So he's fully grown now. If okay. he gets more weight, that means he's getting overweight. And that's where I think he's at right now. Um, I think that he is overweight at the 138. He's, he's too thick in the back end. Okay? Okay. Um, he's losing his waist. He's a little more round round than he should be. He should still be kind of lean in the back. And, and we're losing that. And with him being a giant breed dog, he's going to have, have hip and joint issues if we don't get that under control now. Um, so right now I kind of want you to monitor how much he's eating and reduce it by about 25%. Okay. Uh, we, um, so if he's uh, yeah, because so, again, I yeah. can't stress with you yeah. how he does not eat. That's the issue because yeah. he, King okay. doesn't overeat. He, he never have, he's never been that type of dog yeah. to do. And he only and no one... gets portions food. So the only yeah. way to me, he started yeah. gaining when he got put yeah. on that prednisone. So, and well, we all know that prednisone will put, yeah, we all know that prednisone will put yeah. weight on him. Yep. And it kind of yeah. just came out of nowhere because normally King okay. doesn't, he never weighed that much. Okay. So I was like, okay. Well, we'll let him, we'll let his body adjust to having that steroids out of the system a little longer then. And mm -hmm. when we see him next time we weigh him, I'm hoping that he'll be back down. But just keep an eye on that body condition. And make he's, sure that he's what it, what's his weight around. now? Because <laughs> he's one, you said 138. 138, yep. Mm -hmm. When I first met him, he was 124. I think that's probably closer to that 120 is a better better weight for him. <laughs> okay, yeah, because he was like 124, and then when we brought him back after we started the prednisone, he had jumped up six pounds. Yep. He so did. I was yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I think it will still fall off. Even well, they said that about me, I and so. I still got prednisone <laughs> weight too. So yeah. we'll see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But well, let me give you a grand total for today and a pickup time okay um i would love to keep him till about two uh, let's say about 245 because i think natalie uh is in a meeting till 230 so i want to give her a little time to to get him discharged with you um so about 245 three o'clock will work for us does that work okay for you um i have medications that do yeah at around about that time and it also okay. makes me groggy and sleepy okay and that is going to be an issue. That's why we was also calling okay. for that, too, because that's, that dosage. You want to try I, to come sooner? Yeah, um, that dosage me, I can't change. Okay. So her meeting starts at 1.30. Um, I think that he's probably waking up to go home if we do. Can you guys make it here by about 1.15? Yes. It's about 45 minutes from now. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can be there. We can be there. Okay, and then she shouldn't have too much to tell you. She'll just show you the pictures since you and I talked already. Okay. Um, she'll just reiterate a few things and, and what to watch for with anesthesia, which he just went through. So okay. it should be pretty quick discharge at that time, so she should be able to get on her meeting. Do you know um, what the, 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 the cost would be right now? Yes. Yes, so the grand total today, it says nail trim, his ear cleaning, and the antibiotics, my grand total is 171.51, okay? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And then we'll have the antibiotic here for you. You don't have to go fill that anywhere else. We'll okay. That up to you. On my way. All right. All right. All right. Well, we will see you shortly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye now. Okay. I know you guys just heard that whole conversation. The problem that I'm having right now is why I am so livid is that I want my dog right now. Okay. And yes, I might have stretched the truth just a tad bit so I can come pick him up right now because my man's ain't due to six. But I'm fixing to come and get him because at the end of the day, he was not, he wasn't scheduled for ear cleaning. When we checked him in, she said, we cleaning his ears today, right? I said, no, he's just supposed to be here for a tooth cleaning. And then she's like, okay, oh, well, the deck takes care of the anesthesia. So I was like, all right, because I said, all I wanted you to do was put the other drops back in his ears. The ones that we previously paid for, they cost us $200.
okay? And then we're simply trying to tell this lady that King is probably going to, I think it's the pregnant zone myself because King was, like she said, he was 104, what, 124 pounds when you brought him in there, okay? And then you took him back for two, for what, a week follow-up, a two weeks follow-up, and he had gained six pounds, okay? So he's constantly gaining, but I also know it's not about his eating habits because King don't overeat. He never have and never have done that. His dad, though, fully grown was 185 pounds. It got a lot to do with his it. It does. And it does because his mom was 175. When I so bought King, they told me that he is going to be a big, he's going to be a large dog because both of his parents were imported from Germany in 2016. And then both of his and both of his parents are big dogs. I saw them with my own two eyes when I went and bought King. Okay? So you're trying to you now when we checked him in, she said, is he here for air cleaning? We said no, he was only supposed to get his teeth clean. Okay? She said that takes care of the anesthesia. So now you done now the bill is another hundred and seventy one dollars. They are ganking people out of money. I don't care what anybody says. I will do everything. I will go from the beginning of the world and back for a king. I really would. I asked this lady when we took him to her the first time about his freaking eyes and she said it's nothing wrong it's just cosmetic now you're saying that it, whatever whatever needs to be done and now he needs to see a surgeon i would have got king eyes done way before now if i knew that he could be suffering in any kind of way and that is what got me livid right now is because I wouldn't have let my dog suffer for nothing. Okay? Because I'm not that dog mom. I think the fact that you just get, and I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna say when I'm say, why did he get an ear cleaning? When all I asked you for you to do was to put the ear drops in his ears. Okay. And then you said that if we didn't get the cream that she gave us for his eyes, in his eyes, around his eyes, will be fine. Okay? Did that done that? So now I'm mad because I think the fact that they just want to keep ganking people out of money. But I ain't the one that you're going to play like that. I truly am not. She better know somebody that knows somebody and tell her about me because I am not going to go there keep ducking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars off for of y'all to keep bringing King back every other because I'm mad. At the end of the day, I would have taken my dog to get his eyes done because it's stressful for him to have to keep coming back over here. It stresses him out. King doesn't like it and I don't either. So I'm going to get my dog home, pick my dog up, and they probably ain't going to see me. They probably not going to see me. I'm just going to be honest with you because, okay, you, there's nothing else left for him to do. If he needs shots, I take him somewhere else. How about that? Because at the end of the day, you paying $80 a month. What the heck are we paying $80 a month for? Well, wellness package. And we still paying all these, you taxing us hundreds of dollars every time we come over here. We living in the middle of a pandemic, okay? I'm going to cancel that. We are living in the middle of a pandemic, and that's not going to continue to keep happening. So before you decounsel it, though, let me call this this uh, surgeon, because at the end of the day, he's not going to be able to look in King's eyes. Talking about a consultation. To do what? King is not going to let you look in his eyes. He's not going to do that. He's going to snap at you. I would have got this done when he was a puppy. You, They told us before it's cosmetic. She told us the second time, it's cosmetic. Now, it's a surgical thing. It should have been a surgical thing when you first saw him a couple of months ago. Or well, a couple of weeks ago. When we first, when y'all start seeing patients again. So, I am ticked off. I'm a, That's the end of my rant for right now until I go ahead and get my baby from these people. 
because they was trying to say, Natalie's got to meet. I don't care nothing about no, I don't even want to talk to Natalie, honestly. Because at the end of the day, she she charged us just to charge us. Ain't nobody tell you that he's supposed to have a deep ear cleaning. You didn't talk to us about that. You We disagreed with that from the beginning before you took him back there. Yeah, but I tried to tell him, you you're not paying for that ear cleaning. Because if we didn't give that, that wasn't on the, that was not on, that was not the procedure for today. All that we did was teeth and that's it. I, I told her to just put the drops in there. You said you was going to look at that little spot on his, on the side of his head. And then you was going to the, 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 the tip his nail. His nails about to be all the way down where he can't halfway scratch. Because at the end of the day, now you charge me for that too. But it, that's fine because I still like for them things to be short. But right now. $171? No, ma'am. So let me see this bill because I am going to, I'm going to let her get her instructions. She ain't got no instructions to give me, sis. You really don't. And I'm not waiting on no meeting for you either. Give me my bill and I'm gone. How about that? I'll talk to y'all when I get to this place because right now I am livid. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm back over here at swindle.com. Swindlefunds.com. Yep, that's their new name, swindlefunds.com. I'm going to get my dog and get on out of here before I tell this lady what bridge to jump off of because anybody tell you to do all this stuff, I'm really ticked off because I asked this lady before. You claim you looked in his eyes the first time. And you guys didn't hear that part of the conversation, but I did ask her. That's why I'm upset because I would have had my baby eyes fixed already so we're gonna go get my son take him home hello and make sure he's okay and put him to sleep I mean I put him to sleep let him have a nap because put him because right now I don't care about none of that none of that I'm gonna get my dog swing to $171 y'all should have told us before that his eyes need surgery because I would have been dead. I ain't gonna let my dog suffer. Hey. I'm gonna pause y'all till she come out. Look what she did to my baby. <laughs> One too many. Too many. Oh, look at my baby. Did he um did he did he be mean? Oh he was, he was on one today. Oh yeah, I told you he was he had a two. Yeah. He know you because he already knows now. He, he walked back there, he weighed in, he was doing fine, and then we got him um what? we got the what? No Roger. Okay. We got the injection ready for him. I'm like, alright. So be the last thing, buddy. And he reared up, full mouth, was lunging at people. We had to go have a conversation. Yeah, I told you he was, he had a two. When I'm he... like, hey, hangry doesn't work here. <laughs> I understand hangry. I am hangry. I he, get it. He doesn't. He, he he's he's. We're gonna have to give him a break though because he's a little. He remembers yeah. very well. But you know his ears look great. That's like what I, she told I cleaned me. Cleaned out the only stuff that was there was stuff on the outside, like up in here, mm -hmm. that where the stuff gets caught. Mm -hmm. um, but down in there, they look amazing. That's what she told me. And on his ear swabs, they're amazing. So we did it. We fixed his ears. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so this was what's on the side of his face. We did give him a little haircut so we could see it better. Oh my gosh! So you can see it's kind of. It looks like it's almost healing. Mm -hmm. So it should heal the rest of the way, especially because he's going on the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And now that the hair is off of it. What is that? It, it's like um, it's from scratching. It's almost like from the was nails? He digging at his face when he had an ear infection. Mm -hmm. well, it's probably a scratch from okay. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then. Um, Every time I bring my dog to you, he, he comes back looking different. I know. I'm good at it, aren't I? <laughs> it's like the worst groomer ever. <laughs> um, but there, I can't really see. His nails are nice and short. Mm -hmm. But he's got those little little bumps on the sides of his toes and in between his toes mm -hmm. um especially that's the right front foot the bottom of it i didn't see it. that either yeah okay yeah, so um <laughs> yeah it, and he, he's completely sedated that's why i can spread his toes and look oh okay but we're gonna see how the antibiotics do is he limping or looking at his feet or anything mm. okay so hopefully just around the antibiotics and we'll be good to go okay but um i didn't shave that's any of those what that's in there that is this 
okay. which is three tablets once a day for 10 days. As long as this pill, he'd yeah. be all right because he yeah. just. And they're not even that big. Oh, I stick that in a hot dog. He'd be just fine. Okay, and so we got, we finally got a really, really good look at his um, eyeballs. She told me. So here's the animal eye clinic. Yeah, uh, I wish because that, that's the only thing I was concerned. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, we looked at him the first time. She's like, okay, they're okay. Yeah. And I would have, I would have already had his. Yeah. Took him to have that looked at because I'm yeah. I'm very very and they concerned. looked worse to me today than I've seen them before. Okay, and I don't know if it was because he's all the way out. I don't know if it's because he's having like a little allergy and they're a little swollen or what. But they in the worse summertime today than he yeah, that's summertime. what I was gonna tell her. The summertime yeah. his eyes look like that. Yeah, but in the wintertime they don't look like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he probably has he has entropion where the eyelids mm -hmm. go in, but he probably has allergic like an allergy to the outside just like we get hay fever mm -hmm. and it probably makes him swollen and makes him worse mm -hmm. so like his cherry eye like before I've, I've noticed it every time he's here but now it just looks like the whole gland is this like hello how are you today okay um, versus before when it was kind of like half out like it's, okay his eyes are like out well they're gonna it's gonna get taken care yeah. of because I don't and and I still think that it in the summertime, I was going to ask her too. In the summertime, I, we think he needs allergy medication because he looks yeah. like that all the time. And there is an oral tablet that we can uh -huh. get him in the summer. I think she talked about Apoquil. No, she okay. didn't. I'll double check with her when I run back there. Okay. Um, she was on the phone when I was coming up. Okay. But there, there is medication we can use. Because he's like be, his mama. Yeah, it's going to be expensive for his size, but so is everything in the world. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. um, so aftercare, kind of the same as his neuter, except for it's, it's a lot faster. So you're going to start with small amounts of water when you get home and then he can have about half of his dinner tonight mm -hmm. tomorrow feed and eat and drink like normal and he's back to his regular romping yeah self. because she said that he's like oh he he needs to he's getting away he's going back he doesn't eat though he doesn't eat a lot yeah so he's up to one I just 189 like 138 she 138 so he yeah. gained seven pounds since last time so maybe just increase his exercise if he's not eating that much i think it's his pregnancy on he was on if that can be too uh -huh. that can that's be what i think it is way. because yeah. he just kind of yeah and that's why the Apoquil really eat a lot. is so nice over the prednisone for allergies. Like mm -hmm. if we can get away with the Apoquil just because it doesn't cause that weight gain. Okay. But it's it's definitely more expensive than the prednisone. Okay. Prednisone has been out so long it's dirt cheap, but it does really come with its Because his mama effects. got prednisone weight that they claim is going to fall off. And it ain't went nowhere. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do humans. I'm sorry. Four legs and fur. <laughs> All right. All right, any uh, questions about Big Man? No, nope, just go get him so we can let him I will try off. to get his little wrap off from his catheter. I don't know if he'll let me because he's he's pretty awake. Um, he probably won't. But it has a little tab on it. So I'll take it off. it one day. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll let me do it. Yeah. Eventually. Well, he'll get it he's, he's been <laughs> He's a little angry. He, don't, uh, he just want to be out of your sight. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> I know. Hey, he did a good job on this. Yeah, I just, I done kind of took a breather. I'm going to get my baby name. Here it go, right here. See, my baby name on the board. Y'all see this? That my child, right there. I don't know what Prince mean, but. Yeah, it says Prince. That's my baby name right there on the board. Okay. Is he? He'll probably. Hmm. You look at him for a dish. Hey, baby. Hi. I see him. He's like, give me to my mama. That's the safest I feel. Is with my mama. Hi, baby. Come on. How did you, I'm going to be her for real. What her do? <laughs> what her do to you? Yeah, I don't know. I did it. One minute, I was she, to her she gave you an unwanted haircut. She did it. I'm going to beat her up. Okay. <laughs> I'm a whooper. Yeah, you do good boy. Good boy. Okay. His eyes are a little more goopy because of the eye surgery. It's okay. Come on, baby. We gotta go. Okay. You gotta put your stuff on. Look at mommy. Now, when he jumps up in the car and stuff, Dad, make sure you brace Hi. him because he's kind of like a drunk sailor. He doesn't know where his feet are. Hey, boo boo. And that goes across his belly. Hey. Hold on, buddy. It's okay, mommy. Gonna wipe your face because you know. Oh. You look. You look drunk. You you look hungover. He did. I I I had a little too much at the park. You had too much to keep. I saw oh, no. you and your, your drunken sailor. <laughs> I saw your pictures. I saw the evidence. You got it? Yeah. I used the Dremel on his nails, too, so I could get her as short as possible. Yeah. Since he couldn't argue with me about it. Oh, that's what she shaked. 
you just your hair just grew back. She done shaved it off again. Every time you come here, and your daddy got you crooked. That's okay. Mommy gonna take you home. No more Natalie. Want me hit her? I can hit her now. Wait. Don't do my back. Bye bye. Come on, baby. Let's go home. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go home. You all right? You ain't got to worry about it. you. Yeah, mommy gonna help. We gotta help you. Your dad gonna have to. Uh, he's gonna have to tighten that thing around the chest because it's not supposed to be loose like that. You know. Yeah. We almost done with you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's a big one. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he hits his daddy's pocket real heavy. <laughs> he really does. He's a full a full blood German Rockwaller. What? He's a full blood German Rockwaller. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's a full blooded boy. Hi, baby. You ready to go home with mom and dad too? He's like, I'm about to. Say, I'm about to blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's a 100% nut. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got it Poor baby. <laughs> My. Okay. Get up in the car, babe. I'm coming, baby. Mama got you. I'm I know. I know. Jump up, boo. Come on. Get up here. Can you get up? Come on, baby. Come on. Daddy got to pick you up. There you go. Who? that's a big boy. Mama got to wash your face. It's okay. Mama got you. Oh, his eye looks horrible. There you go. Wash it, Okay, mommy going, that's the next thing. Get your eyes done. Now that she say surgery is a must, we just going to go ahead and get it done. Uh-uh. Don't you tell my leash. Mm -mm. Man, I got to take all this off. This bucket, uh-uh, because this is not as strong as that, and he get the pulling. Sit down, because you took his collar off. Yeah, we had to take his collar off. Hey, baby. Hi. You got to take his collar off. You big boy. Who did that? Let me cut this. Okay, we got King. As you can see, he back there. And I'm going to end this one because it's probably already long. I'm not going to talk to you guys. The one just told me, don't even worry about it. Don't challenge her, none of that. So I didn't. And they didn't schedule any followers because they wasn't, I wasn't going to do it no way. So it is what it is. But um, she said that they look um, worse than they normally do. It's because it is summer. Yeah, he, his, allergies, his, allergies uh, his allergies act up real bad like mine do. I just got to turn to her. He needs allergy medication mm -hmm. because he has a hard time in the you summertime. And I, I and I am. I am going to give him some Benadryl because the, the, the other veterinarian told me I could just give him Benadryl in the Benadryl, summertime. Yeah. Well, she told me it's really expensive, but Benadryl helped it him. It, it helped him last summer. I'm going to okay. do that. So, uh, his eyes are worse in the summertime. I was saying I wanted him to be comfortable though. So I'm going to take him home. I don't want to do too much to him today because the rest of the day, because he's had a long day already. I know he's going to get a little bit to drink, eat and drink because he hasn't had anything to eat all day. That's why I told her I wasn't working until no four o'clock to come get him. Truly was not. I wanted my baby. So the next step which is important is to get his eyes done. And I am going to find the veterinarian or the ophthalmologist or whatever the case may be. And then I think after that, we should be done because I'm not spending no more coins with them. Truly, I'm not. So right now, everything the king, she done shaved the side of his head and then shaved his paw. So it's okay. We're gonna do what we do. I'm getting ready. Oh, I'm gonna let you guys see the bill. We paid, um, what you say, 171. Ooh, I almost stopped fussing. 
Because had we not had the wellness package, baby, that bill would have been $738.29. So you saved a ton of money by having the wellness package. So I'm I'm not going to fuss no more about this $171.50. Oh, I guess I'm going to shut up. Because right now, baby, <laughs> woo! Okay, I was fussing about no. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I was. Um, I'm fussing. I'm not. What I said I was gonna fuss. What I'm saying is like I was mad because I would have been had him got his eyes fixed. That's what I was mad about. I don't want my baby to suffer. I truly don't. Something cost one hundred and forty-one dollars, forty-nine dollars. Uh, don't know what that was. Oh no. I'm going to look at read, look at this bill. But anyway, you guys see my savings. And I'm going to end this right here because I know this video is already too long. Thanks, Chatty Baddies, for coming with us on this journey again. Because as you can see, that this is... He ain't going to pull me over because I got a piece of paper in my hand. No, I said that little cop. Oh. You going to chase that challenger all until. Probably so. All right, you need to come when he's pulling You know your cars, don't you? Yo, incognito cars. Oh, I, know, I, I know, but I'm gonna read his summary, guys. I'm gonna jump up off of here. And again, thanks for spending the day with us in uh, the life of a dog mom. It is very stressful, as you can see. But we will see what kings, um, how much they're gonna charge us for that, and then we'll let you guys know because we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, hello. Um, I'm blessed that uh, Mr. Man has uh, uh, been able to take care of all that. And my phone's ringing, so I'm getting ready to get off here. Bye, guys.